Hey y'all, welcome back to Living Life with Sonya. So I know y'all see some snacks up here, y'all. Today we're going to be snacking and chatting. Okay. I got some peanuts, cashews, some pistachios, some Reese's, and some Hershey's with almond, y'all. So today we're going to be snacking and chatting. And what I'm going to chat about today with y'all um, is the wedding. So, I'm going to try to, not go to start to finish, but you know what I mean, like where it all started and um, where are we at now with the process. So, I think we got engaged, you guys, um, 2017, we was in South Carolina for my daughter's birthday week. And, um, yeah, we was down there for a week and then can't remember what day was it on. I know, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to remember what day did we get engaged on. Do we remember? The 19th? It was. I think it was the 19th, y'all. I'll let y'all know, though, in a minute. But I think it was on the 19th we got engaged. So, we, um, I think I started planning a couple months after that. I think I'm right. The 15. Okay. Sorry, y'all. So the 15. We uh, got engaged. Then we started planning. I want to say a couple months into it. I mean, a couple months after that. Then I was getting stressed out. So then I stopped. And... We started back up in, what, last year, which would be 2019. So we started back up in 2019. That's when I hired a, we, we hired a wedding planner. So y'all don't need a wedding planner if y'all can plan it yourselves, you can. I don't know why I couldn't because it's too much going on. So... We hired the wedding planner. So she's been handling everything. <laughs> Y'all excuse the noise in the background. I always say that. Y'all know by now. So. <laughs> All right, where was I? So I had the wedding planner, right? And she started with, um, what was the first things we did with her? First, oh, before her. Before we hired her, I went to Kleinfeld's. That's where I got my wedding dress at. And I'm going to get into the Kleinfeld experience in the next video, so I'll post it. And so we'll talk about the Kleinfeld experience. For all y'all who know Kleinfeld is from the Say Yes to the Dress, so we'll talk about that in the next video. So, we we hired the um, wedding planner. And then we started with the, I want to say the dresses for the bridesmaids and the, the guys' tux and everything. So... What she did was, this is really nice. First, we had a meeting to go over everybody's rules and what we were doing and all after. I'm not going to show it up front because it has our stuff in there, but she put this folder together. And this is actually the color, y'all. Just blue aqua. So she put this folder together. Um, and it basically has all our stuff listed in the inside. Of everyone's names and what are they and where are we going to have this and have that at and everything. So this was really helpful. Um, what else? So we do, we have one, two, three, four, five bridesmaids and four groomsmen, one maid of honor and one groomsman. 
No, sorry. <clears throat> Why is this written on here like that? One maid of honor and one best man, y'all. I'm reading something, and that, that's why it's just a little weird. So, yeah. Um, what's next, y'all? I'm getting off track now. All right, so we did the the girl dresses. The girl dresses we had a little bit of a problem because it was one dress that we wanted. We couldn't get it in the right colors. That's another thing, y'all, if y'all plan to wear them. Colors that y'all want, if y'all not getting the dresses made, you can't get the color that you want. Because the colors that I wanted, I couldn't get, and then we had to keep switching the style of the dresses and, and everything. So, so, so yeah. And this, well, you're talking about the swatches. The swatches, they didn't um, update them. So, they didn't have the they didn't have the colors that they supposed to have. They had the old colors that they wasn't using anymore. So, that was another thing. With the dresses, we kept switching the dresses. So, and I think we did that about um, two, three, three times, maybe something like, maybe more. But... I'm going to say at least three times. We kept switching the dresses. Um, I had the bridesmaids pick out the dresses. It was like a majority win type thing. Because I wanted the bridesmaids to like the dresses that they were wearing. And not just pick it on and be like, oh, here you go. You know, wear this dress. I wanted them to actually like it. And, you know. So I thought that was a good thing for them to pick out their arm. The dresses, majority win. The guys was playing simple because they rented their tux. So Chris, who's my fiance name, which is you know that's his name. Um, he went out and actually picked out the guy's style, like what you know. Yeah, you do have to change that. What kind of um, style and everything that they were gonna wear? Because they're gonna wear the vest. You know, the vest, the shoes, the tux, all comes with the rental. And the tie. Yeah, that all comes with the, the rental. So, we did that. And, um, that was, that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. I went to, I want to say I went to three places for the bridesmaid dresses. One, two, three. Yeah. I went to three places for the bridesmaids dresses, so. We finally got one. Right now. That, um, you know, so when you do the bridesmaids dresses, you have to get the dresses pick the color which is the swatches um of the dresses and then you have to um put the deposits down of course um you got to get fitted and everything so we didn't get that far yet with the girls they still have to get fitted so you got to get fitted and then you pay off the dress All right for the guys, you have to do the same thing. You have to put your deposit down, um, get fitted, and pay off the tuts and everything. Um, I was about to say something else about that, too. The, the dresses vary. It all depends on what style you want. And, you know, everything is, you know. So the prices vary. It depends on what you get and everything. They can go from one something to who knows. I'm sure it's up there somewhere. So depends on the style y'all want. Um, what else? We got um 
a makeup person because I don't know how to do makeup. If I did, I guess I would do my own. And, you know, you save money. But we do have um, someone to do our makeup for us and hair. So we're going to have someone do our hair. And I think the guys, guys are going to get their hair cut, of course. And um, I don't know who's cutting. I know who's cutting my fiance's hair. But I don't know about the other guys. I think we're all going to different people. I think the person that I'm going with, I think uh, three, three, two bridesmaids is going with the same makeup person and the rest of them got their own or something like that. And then their hair up, I got, you know, their own go-to person, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Um, what else? Shoes, guys, we didn't get to the shoes yet. The girls have still got to figure out their shoes, what we wearing. I didn't figure out my shoes yet. Um, I think the guys still have to figure out what their shoes are going to be or something. I know Chris trying to get his, ja his jacket custom, so he still have to figure that part out. Um, what else? What else are we working on? I got to get the Junior Bridesmaids shoes. Um, what else? What else? What else? As I said, we do have the venue picked out. Um, oh, let me. So this is just, I don't want to show them the name, but they give you a packet of like the dresses that you um might want or whatever. So it's just a packet of different things, you know, different dresses. So that's helpful with the um, dress picking. Um, let's see. What else do we have to do? Um, we did get a DJ. So you have to, I guess you don't have to get a DJ, but if you want a DJ, you can get a DJ. Um. What else? What else? You have to have a host. Um, a photographer. We do have our photographer guy. So he's going to shoot the day before, the not the day before, the day of the wedding. That morning, like getting ready and everything like that. And then he's going to shoot the ceremony and the reception and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, we're going to do that for... Us and the guys are going to shoot all that stuff. Um, I'm not, I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we have the decorator lady. The decorator lady, she is going to do our flowers. Um, she's going to make the venue look nice, sir. The venue looks nice to me. It looks nice, nice venue. So she's gonna make it look nicer. Um, you know, she adds stuff here and there, and whatever the styles I want and everything. So we got her doing a decorating and everything like that. Like I said, she do our bouquets and everything. Um, you don't have to get a, a decorator because it costs more. I do. It costs a lot. So. Don't have to get that, but I don't know what I'm doing, so I need help. I'm talking about if I didn't have these people, I don't need help because I, I don't know how to do it myself. Like I said, if y'all if y'all know what y'all doing, y'all can cut costs through all this stuff. Y'all need all this stuff, but the more the help, the better I am. Because now I'm stressed out. Um, what else? So we've decided to do, um, I guess we, we're going to do a whole, the hotel, you guys. Um, the day before the wedding, we're going to stay there.
for those who wants to stay there and for those who don't that's fine they can just come there in the morning and get ready and you know the photographer is going to be there and the hair and makeup people going to be there it's going to be a whole lot of people a whole lot going on that morning so we are going to stay there from the the day of the wedding and no the night before then the day of stay overnight and then go home i think that's how we're going to do it y'all we, we made up our minds somewhat but uh, that can change we're going to see what happens um for that anyone out there who got married how did y'all do the hotel thing or did y'all just go after the day some people just get ready home and it is what it is which is fine um we'll figure it out i don't know i don't know but it's for right now that's how it's going um i did want to do the whole limo thing because i know you can do a limo it takes you from um doing the photos doing the photos go to the venue take photos there something like that and then you know so it take you to get the it, the limo takes you to get photos done then take you back to the venue that's what that's what the limo does but since our venue we're having a ceremony and a reception at the same place there's no need for a limo because we're going to get the shuttle. It's a shuttle bus from the um, hotel that takes us straight to the venue. So we're just going to do that. And um, yeah, so we don't need a, a limo. So it's up to y'all how y'all want to do that part. Um, like I said, some places you do probably need a limo or rent some, a car or some van. I don't know, something. You, gotta, you get something to get you to where you need to go. So yeah, we did we did the limo to there, and um, what else we got? I'm trying to think what else we got, y'all. Um, we still got to do the jewelry. We didn't get our jewelry yet, so we need that. We have to do the, We have to get our jewelry and um, whatever else for that and it's not uh, i'm missing something no that might be it y'all um we did um to go backwards now um we did save the dates y'all um see that's why you know once i get better with things i'm gonna post stuff you know how you know how you post it around the the camera and you know what I'm saying y'all know what I'm talking about you just post pictures a picture pop up there da, da. right now I can't do all that y'all I'm, I'm learning don't worry about it because I would post a picture here show y'all what I'm doing there da, da. so um yeah we did save the dates they went out so we have to do the invitations We're working on that now um and we did like a photo shoot because we really didn't have no pictures for a save the date you know how you have a picture on there or whatever so we had to go get some pictures taken if you do have pictures already use that because then that save you money on that too everything costs so yeah don't um don't go and do a whole picture thing we just didn't really have no pictures together to put on anything so that's why we did that photo shoot thing with that um so yeah we're working on invitations uh, what else cake tasting we got to go do a cake tasting we did one so um i'm gonna do another one and i'll probably take y'all along with me on it cake tasting journey um the experience was it was all right i guess i was expecting more for it a cake tasting but it, it tastes cake so um yeah i'm i will um go on that you know on that journey with y'all with the cake taste and thing um here mama I'll take you. but um yeah so we're gonna we're gonna do the second cake taster um 
what else? The second cake tasting. Oh, we need to write our, we got to write some songs down. I actually forgot about that part. We got to write some songs down for everybody to come out to and, and that whole thing. So, is we still got some stuff to work on, y'all. Um, I am going to do a, I'm going to do a, um, a little video on just um something that I gave my bridesmaids. Um, some people do, they give them like a would, a will you be type of thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to show y'all that. I'm going to do a little video about that, what I gave my bridesmaids. I thought it was a cute little um, idea. I really liked it, you know. Um, I thought it was, I thought it was nice. Hopefully they think it was nice too. Um, I already had did that. So, I think that's, I think that's it so far, y'all. I think that, I think that was it. I feel like I'm skipping something. But, if I am out, I can tell y'all later. I can tell y'all later. Hopefully y'all will be here so I can tell y'all later. But, um, yeah. I can tell y'all later about that. Because I do feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think, I might not be, um, um, I'm eating all this junk food, y'all. Hey, I get some food in my system, but I know, I'm going to eat something in a minute, but yeah, y'all, I'm just snacking and talking to y'all, you know? So, I think of something else I'm going to let y'all know. But, um, like I told y'all, I'm going to do some some videos on what I had told y'all about that I was going to do with the Kleinfeld and the, the boxes that I gave my um, bridesmaids. We still got to figure out what we're going to give the, the groomsmen, so I'm not going to say it just yet because we haven't did it, and I don't want to spoil anything. So, I'm not going to say For a groom from yet. So yeah, y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me. If you like this, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, y'all. Give me some comments down below. Let me know what um what y'all did for y'all wedding or what y'all planning on doing or whatever um and subscribe please you know thank y'all for living life with Sonya bye